Hi all, today's a day I'm finally going to make in the FX61. It's a good day, um, so let's get out to the airfield and throw it up in the air. Fingers crossed. Oh man, it's dusty here. They've just been cutting the cane and it looks like they've done a little bit of digging around here. So yeah, this um, airfield here is out in between cane fields, sugar cane fields. It's all sugar cane farming around here. It's very dirty and dusty, a little red soil. You can see we've got some cloud cover here, very light winds. Uh, it's a bit humid. So I'm going to mate in the FX61 line of sight. I might do a um, an auto tune on it as well while we're in the area here. And um, go from there. So this plane's running the new ZOHD uh, 10,000 milliamp battery that I got yesterday pretty keen to try that one out that's, that's him there welcome to open TX alright so we'll set things up here and get some satellites happening All right, so we got, I've got some satellites here now. I've got it, um, it's a bit slow picking up the satellites. It's not a great day for a great KP reading from what I looked at, but we've got eight to nine satellites at the moment. I'll just wait till it gets up to about 10 and then I'll, I'll give it a throw.
It's a successful float. It's a beautiful flying plane. It's nice size. It just glides and drifts beautifully. Um, I was unable to do my auto tune because I found out the battery in the laptop's flat. There's always, I don't know, I always have some sort of issue when I come down here, but but anyway, other than that, it was a good flight from the FX61. It's a beautiful plane to fly. I, hopefully I'll have some onboard footage from the run cam split to show you. It'll be nice and clear. Just check the transmitter, uh, the video transmitter, how's that? That's not even warm, that's beautiful, that's great. Motor's not, not even warm. Battery's good, slight warmth to it. ESC is quite warm though, which is interesting because it could be because of the bat uh, the battery and the weight, but that is quite warm, it's, it's quite hard to touch. So that could be something I might have to address. That's the heat sink though, so that might be normal, I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah, that was good. Beautiful craft. Um, we'll hopefully get some more long range flights out of this one in the coming videos. But um, yeah, this place here is just my test ground at the moment. I might try and test it a bit further. I've still got to put a um, a 5.8 a repeater on the uh, ground station so that I can use my goggles. So I'll just unplug this because we don't need things heating up any further. And we'll get it into the shade. The only thing I'm concerned about is its launch. It's quite heavy. It's quite heavy. Um, when you launch it, it seems to really struggle to pull itself up in the air. Which is something I'm going to have to really sort out. Because I was a bit worried when I launched it. We've got some trees over that side there. I was, <laughs> at one stage I thought I wasn't going to get up over it. Which it should be a lot better than that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, that Maiden. Um, it was actually filmed over two days. Um, the FPV side of things um, with run cam split didn't work the first day, so I re-recorded it the second day, which is why you see more cloud cover in the video. But both times the plane flew the same. Needs a little bit of tuning. Um, but other than that, um, it flies very nice flies very nice so it's been a long time in the making two years I've had this plane for it's finally made and after all this time due to issues and uh, all sorts of things so hopefully we get a lot more flights out of it um, in the future anyway guys until then stay safe and see you in the next video bye for now